Kia ora and welcome to another Wellbeing Wednesday with me, Sarah and Faye from Becoming Healthy. Uh, so this will be the final hand reflexology and EFT combo for 2023. From here on in, I'll just post a few useful videos of maybe some hand reflexology routines or just some plain tapping routines and then I'll come back in 2024. Hopefully with some more topics and if you've got any that you'd like to suggest, I'd love to hear them. Um, I'd always, you know, each week I'm like, oh, what am I going to do next week? But anyway, last night I held a hand reflexology evening and swaps here in Karpati and one of the things that came up was um, a bit of indigestion. And I thought, well, this might be a good one coming up to Christmas. Uh, you may need it if we sort of, you know, usually overindulge at this time of year or sometimes eat things we shouldn't do because they look so delicious. So I thought, why not? Let's go for indigestion. So if we just think about the pain of indigestion, obviously if you're in the moment and you've got indigestion, you can rate it much easier than you can just imagining. So on a scale from one uh, from zero to 10, just rating how uncomfortable or how frustrated or how high that emotion is around that indigestion that you're experiencing. Zero being there's no emotion, there's no pain, no issue at all, and 10 where there's extreme discomfort, pain, anything that's happening, because quite often it's sort of all this burning sensation up in here. So we're going to rate, just jot it down, first number that comes into your head, nothing too complicated or overthinking. And for the purposes of this tapping, I'm going to keep it quite simple and just say this indigestion. But the more specific you can be, the better it will be for you and the more beneficial it will be and the more impact it will have. So if it's a burning sensation, you might say this burning sensation. Um, in my in my chest or it might be this bloated uh, gut or something just actually identifying and pointing out how it is for you and what you're experiencing or it even might be this frustration or this uh, anger at myself for eating again something I shouldn't have that's caused indigestion so whatever it is for you be more specific and I'll just keep that general so we're going to start on the karate chop so even though and you just follow along saying the words after me or changing them as you need. So even though I have this indigestion, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm experiencing this indigestion, I love and accept myself and how I feel. Even though I have this indigestion, I love and accept myself and how I feel and maybe everyone else who's involved. And I'm realising what a weird word indigestion is. I'm going to say it really weirdly, I can see all through. So we're going to start at the eyebrow point and go through the round. So this indigestion. And the side of the eye, this indigestion. Remember, you can be more specific. Highlight the sensations under the eye, this indigestion. Under the nose, you can either go this way. I'm just going to go this way so you can see my mouth. This indigestion. On the chin, this indigestion. And on the collarbone, just above the bony parts, this indigestion. Then under the arm on the brow line, this indigestion. Or in line with your nipples if you're a male. And then top of the head, this indigestion. So take a deep breath. And through the nose, out through the mouth, and then rate yourself again on that 0 to 10 scale of how you're feeling, either for the physical sensations or the emotional sensations that you're feeling. Jot it down. If it's come down, great. Keep going. It'll come down. Ideally, we want it to get to a 0 where you're not feeling anything. But obviously, something like indigestion, it might take a while to get there because it's the physical um sensation and something's going on physically for you if it's gone up that's also okay it doesn't mean that it's not working it just means that maybe it stirred up a bit of that emotion or a bit of that energy within us um, and if it stays the same likewise it's still all good it doesn't mean that it's not working it just means that our body's not really to ready to move yet so from here you can either go back and repeat those rounds getting more specific maybe as you go along 
or you can alternate between the tapping and the hand reflexology to see if you can help. Um, depends on how uncomfortable you are. So we're going to start with a little warm up with the hands. Just a little one um, because obviously ideally you'd be using this in the moment. If you've got indigestion you won't need it any other time. So we're just going to do a little warm up. And then we're going to get straight into the hands. Now I'm not putting on any hand lotion but if you have got time to you can otherwise it's fine with that. Um, I'm going to show you holding my hand up but if you can relax it that will really help to bring in that parasympathetic nervous way of being which allows you to relax and releases the stress which helps the body to get in a better position to heal itself and to let, allow things to move through. So we're going to just stroke down the fingers starting at the top which is a head point and down so this is our throat and we're going to lift off and come back up. I'm going to do two on the side and two front and back. Now the importance of uh, lifting up is that we're going with the body's way of being. So things go down our throat ideally and not up. <laughs> so I just go two on the sides and two front and back, just gliding, lifting off and starting at the head point of the tip again. Once you get used to it, it's all right. It takes a while though to maybe not go up and down. But just think, I want things to go down my throat, not up. And then the other hand, two. And you can use whichever pressure feels comfortable here. It might be a light pressure. It could be a firmer pressure. Just see what feels good for your body. Two on the side. Two on the sides. And again, I'm going quite quickly so that I can keep these videos under 15 minutes. Um, but you can always stop, take more time, because usually the slower you go, the more nurturing and nourishing it feels for your body. That's two. Now we're going to just do a little bit more just on the uh, necks of our fingers which relates to our necks and our throats because sometimes the indigestion can start here and come all the way down. So we're just going to go from that first joint down and we're just going to use a little bit more pressure to glide down and again we're lifting off and gliding down. We're just going to do that a bit more for all of them. So we're actually going to take it all the way down into the palm of the hand a bit more. So just using a little bit more pressure from that first joint down into the palm of the hand. So this is just our throat, esophagus included in here, our necks. Sometimes when we're in pain, we get a bit of tension in the next toe, so this is just really helping to focus, releasing that in there. And the last one down. Now we're going to do our diaphragm, which our diaphragm, if you can kind of bend your hand, it's where that line is that your hand bends, and it comes across from the pinky and across that line, and then it kind of veers to go underneath the thumb. So we're just going to work along there. If you've got your hand down, you can glide the other way from your thumb across with your other thumb. If you can see that, you can kind of glide across this way. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you this way. So working this diaphragm because sometimes that, um, you know, our stomach's quite close in there and sometimes it can get all of it bunched up. The diaphragm, working it and relaxing it just helps us to get that fuller breath, helps more oxygen to flow into the body for our body to function fully. And then we're going to do our solar plexus point. So this is on the diaphragm line and between the third and fourth finger. And we're just going to, it's really light pulsing. Even just holding your thumb there is going to be beneficial. And we're going to breathe in through the nose for three and out through the mouth for three. This is one. Two. Three. And we're going to repeat the same on the other hand. I'm using my finger here, but you can use a finger or a thumb. And again, I've got my hands up to be able to show you, but ideally you'll have them down and relaxed for you. So now we're going to work in this little webbing part in here. Now this 
uh, is just a bit of a general sweep. So it sort of hits on the adrenals, which can come to, sometimes get heightened when we're in pain, but also the stomach area. So we're just going to get three fingers and just really lightly milk. And it's not much pressure at all. It's really light, gentle, just stroking up. Just nourishing that part of the body, just gently working it in the webbing and using our thumb on the other side just to meet. So our finger and thumb actually meet on the other side. And then I'm going to do the other side. And I'm using the three fingers so that I'm kind of covering quite a large area here. Um, with the hands, things are a little teeny tiny. And for the purposes of these videos, we're just sort of doing a general help, self-care one. So just milking in that area. And then we're going to work around this whole palm area right down to the heel of the hand and up to that diaphragm line that we were on before. Now this is pretty much your whole abdomen. So within here, it will be hitting on the stomach again, uh, but other areas that are to do with digestion like our intestines and the pancreas, the gallbladder. So we're just getting the whole area just going around. I'm using my thumb because I've got my hand up and I'm going in a clockwise motion because that's the way the body works with our digestion. If you've got your hand down, you can just do it with your fingers instead. So we're going around in a clockwise motion. And lots of people always say, oh, which way is clockwise? But it, it should work out either way if you're doing it for someone else or the other way. So we're just going around in the whole palm in a clockwise motion, ensuring that we get all those points. And if you are working this and you find that there's one point that's more tender or sensitive, then maybe just focus on that point, either using a bit more pressure if you like, or just a light kind of, you know, stroke, kind of rubbing over in a circular motion. It could be if you suddenly go, oh, actually, it's just in here, which would be your intestines that I'm having the most pain, then you could just gently do. Or what you could do is like on the solar plexus is just kind of press in and release with your breath. So it's sending a calming message to the body that even though it's tender, you can actually still cope with it and you're okay. So we're just going around that circular motion. And then just to finish off, we're just going to put our hands together. Take a few more deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Sending calming messages to our body. Because our bodies are capable of healing when we give them the chance, but sometimes we kind of feel the pain and we keep trying to push through it or get more tense due to it. And then just slowly raising your hands apart until you can feel the energy and warmth dissipating and then clear it. So that's it for this week. Uh, as I said, you can either work through the tapping or the EFT component until you're right down to a zero and use the hand reflexology as a little bonus on the end. Or you can do a round of tapping and then a round of the hand reflexology and go back to the tapping until you get down to that zero, or until you get to a point where you feel comfortable in yourself to be able to move on with your day. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you won't need to use it over the Christmas and New Year break with all those lovely treats and foods and family gatherings that are going to be happening. And until next year, have a fabulous holiday break, however you spend it and celebrate. Have a wonderful New Year, and I look forward to seeing you in 2024. Matewa.